I'll give you 500 bucks. Yeah? Yeah. What's your question? What's your biggest regret in life? Really? As promised. Yeah. Listen, everything's gonna be okay. Thank you. Here you go. God bless you, all right? Call me what you want, but I have no empathy. Like, I had no soft feelings for this man. They use this soft music and everything. And all I could think about is what was on the other end. This man was out there living his best life, living his best life. He created a responsibility for a woman and then just bounced. So I'm thinking about how that child must have felt being abandoned, how that woman must have felt by um, that man and how he just left her holding the bag. That's what I thought about. The man in the video that is doing the interviewing is saying, God bless you. He has a whole lot of empathy, but I just feel nothing about these people that are finally feeling the consequences of their actions because it is now coming to bite them in the butts. When you don't cultivate the relationships and you don't tend to the gardens of your life, you're left with not a whole lot. And that is what... They, these people are in the find out stage and they need to have their karma. We need to stop getting in the way of people feeling the consequences of their actions. Think about the child that was abandoned and how that person feels knowing that whatever, you know, big fun dad wanted to do, all of the women he wanted to chase, or the dreams that he wanted to chase that didn't include that child. That child was like, Maybe I wasn't good enough. Maybe, I, maybe I'm unlovable. And the trauma that that child felt growing up. That is the reason why I have no soft feelings for these people that are getting their comeuppance. And we have got to stop getting in the way of these people getting their comeuppance. This was a lot of people on the post feeling sorrow and empathy for this man. And I just cannot bring myself to do it. But you guys go ahead and tell me what you think. Jump in the comments, like, comment, share.